Hey there, hey there guys, welcome to the review of the Leicester City game at Friendly at Trillion Trophy Training Centre, Wast Hills, whatever you want to call it. Two halves, two diff very different sides, two different feelings on the two different halves. Let's get into it. First half team, I felt better about than the second half team, and I'll tell you for why. In the first half... I felt Leicester were more on the back foot than they were in the second half. They kind of played more defensively minded and played cleverly and they attacked they attacked from the back but also defended from the front. So they were playing quite well. But Kiftenbeld and Sonjuk played quite well together and defensively it just didn't look like we were going to concede. Um they were having quite a few attacks, but just weren't getting past the defence in the midfield, and it was quite work, working quite well in the first half. Um, it's not much to speak about. Uh, you've got the defensive line. Sedan was okay. Uh, Centre half, you've got Bajarami and Dean. They played quite well together. Um, right back, you've got Colin, who was pretty good in the first half. You've got Sonjic and Kuftenbeld in midfield. And then the attacking flow kind of everybody played everywhere. Uh, and it just didn't work quite as well. But defensively we seemed like a solid team. Attackingly not so much. But in the second half... Yeah, in the second half we weren't quite as good defensively. Um, Cogley just didn't look at it. Uh, the Roberts pair. Uh, Mitchell didn't seem brilliant today, and Mark Roberts didn't really fully see him at it and was playing some very dodgy balls. Uh, left back, I thought Christian Patterson played quite well. I thought he looked quite solid. Sorry, I completely missed out Jacob. Um, in the first half, I thought Jacob played quite well. He made one really good save into the bottom corner from Barnes. I think it was. I'm not sure. I think it was Barnes. It, it was a decent save. Uh, second half, obviously, we conceded two. And there was a penalty and another save as well that he made. Um, his save was quite a good save again. They had a shot and it was going towards the bottom corner. He pushed it wide. It was a good save. But then... The penalty that David Davis, yeah, that's what to talk about. He just doesn't seem up to it anymore. David Davis just wasn't up to it in the game. He gave away a silly penalty, which Jacob did well to save. Um, it was kind of at the right height, but it was in the bottom corner and he saved it well. And 2-0 down, you could see his head dropping a bit. But he saved that one. Then there was the error with the second goal, where Jaycock kind of patched it out to Mitchell Roberts, who passed it back to Jaycock. He put it back out to what I think was Mark Roberts or Cogley, I'm not sure which one. But then they passed it right back to him, and he was under loads of pressure. He tried to hoof it out with the first touch, and it just goes straight off the... I think it was old Brighton, and it went in off his... What looked to be arm, from what I could see, but I'm not sure. So that wasn't great. But I thought Jacob played okay. <laughs> um, so we've got David Davis, I didn't think played well. Medina just. I don't think Medina is at it. I don't think Medina is up to the quality at all. Um, further up the pitch, once again, they just weren't at it. George seemed quite a handful, and he kind of was. Pushing his way around and showing them, hey, I'm here, I'll be here, I'll give you a go. But we didn't really look like scoring. We had a shot, we had a couple of headers, of corners and crosses. Crowley was okay, Bella was not showing much. Um, could tell we were a striker down, we could tell we were a winger down. Um, it was disappointing to, obviously, the fact we've got. Gary Gardner missing. You've got um, 
uh, Terrell wasn't in the team. You've got Friend wasn't in the team. You've got Juki missing. You've got multiple players missing. But, yeah. The game was okay. I guess. We played all right. Anyway, it's on to the Tottenham game on Saturday, which hopefully we can perform slightly better at Tottenham away. Let's see if the away form is any better than the training ground form. Keep right on. See you guys next time.